Hello guys, so in this video what I want to do, I want to show how to obtain from some bilinear form how to express this form in a metric notation in the matrix notation or in other words how to obtain a matrix B that corresponds to the following bilinear form. So for that what we're going to do um, for simplification in order like to have less computation on a blackboard but you can do the same uh, in the case, I'm going to just take dimension of my vector space to be equal to 2, but you can take dimension of your vector space to be equal to n. And uh, I'm going to fix some bases, uh, and I'm going to choose like any basis for my uh, vector space. I'm going to just take the 1 and the 2. And then what I'm going to do, um, since I'm taking like my vectors from the vector space v, then uh, actual let's I have the over here. Uh, no, that actually works. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to obtain that my vector v can be written in terms of the basis as x1 v1 plus x2 v2. And my vector w is going to be written in terms of basis as y1 v1 plus y2 v2. So that means like because every time you have a vector in the vector space and you have the basis, you can write a vector in terms of the basis. Then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug in my vectors as, uh, as, as they're written in terms of their basis um, into my bilinear form. So I'm going to obtain x1 v1 plus x2 v2, comma y1 v1 plus y2 v2. And since this is going to be a bilinear form, then I'm going to expand this form uh, correspondingly to the first component. So what I'm going to obtain? v1 and v2 are going to be vectors, and x1 and x2 are going to be constants. So by the definition of the bilinear form, I'm going to have x1 v of v1, uh, y1 w1 plus y2 w2. Yes? Uh, plus x2 v v2, uh, y1 w1, plus y2, w2. So I'm going to have this expression over here. Where again, like this are my constants. And then I'm going to repeat the same uh, process for my second component, but already I'm going to do it twice. So I'm going to obtain the following. I'm going to have x1, uh, y1, b of b1, w1, plus y2, v of v1, w2, sorry, not w2. Um, here I did a mistake, it's not like going to be w, it's going to be v, yeah, because I'm bringing the same basis. Uh, so it's v1 and v2. Yeah, so it's going to be uh, v1, v1, and this is v2, v1, v2. Okay, close the parenthesis, uh, plus x2, is going to be uh, y1 of v2 y1 plus y2 of v v2 uh, and v2. Okay, so this is going to be my expression, close parenthesis. So what I'm going to obtain, if I'm going to expand this, I'm going to have the following. I'm going to have, um, let's take a look, x1 y1 b of v1 v1 plus uh, so here I'm going to have um, x1 y2 times b of v1 v2 plus x2 y1 b of v2 v1 and plus x2 y2 b of v2 2. Okay, so now I have this expression where each of these entries are going to be like scalars, which are multiplied by corresponding evaluation of my bilinear form on the basis vectors. Then the question is like, how I'm going to actually to obtain the matrix from here? Uh, and the idea is like, I can obtain the same expression over here if I'm going to represent my vector slightly different. So what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to use slightly another notation 
So this vector v can be written in a form like as a, a row vector. So I'm going to obtain, oh sorry, as a column vector. I'm going to obtain uh, that the coordinates are going to be v1 and v2. That happens when I'm going to take my vector space v and I'm going to identify my vector space v with R2. When I think about R2 as a uh, vector space of uh, column vectors. And uh, the map goes that I'm sending my vector uh, x1, 1. Yeah, so this is going to be the coordinates uh, x1 and x2, because this was like the coordinates of my vector. So x1, uh, v1, x2, v2 is going to be sent to column vector x1, x2. Okay. So that's why instead of evaluating uh, my form on the vectors v and w from the original vector space v, I can think about this as evaluating my the linear form on the vector space which is isomorphic to v on R2. Uh, then in that case, the linear form can be written the following way. I claim that in this case, my v, v, and w is going to be equal to v transpose times some matrix times w. So w in this case is going to be also the vector is y1, y2. And what is v transpose? It's when from the column vector we're going to make a row vector, and I can write it down here. So if v is equal to x1, x2, then v transpose is going to be equal a row vector x1, x2. So and what matrix do I have? I have matrix exactly B of V1, V1, B of V1, V2, B of V2, V1, and B of V2, V2. So I claim that if I'm going to, now going to take um, that expression and write my vectors as x1, x2, I'm going to use a simpler version. I'm going to indicate B11 as uh, the linear form evaluated on vectors V1, V1. So I'm going to have B12, B21, and B22 multiplied by uh, Y1, Y2. So what I'm going to obtain, if I'm going to multiply my matrix times the column vector, I'm going to obtain a vector B11 at uh, Y1 plus b12 y2 and here I'm going to have b21 y1 plus b22 y2 and then right now what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply my uh, row vector by my column vector so I'm going to multiply this term by this term and this term by this term so and you can observe I'm going to obtain x1 y1 v11 plus x1 uh, y2 b12 plus x2 y1 b21 plus x2 y2 b22 and from there we can observe that this over here is my b11 and I have exactly x1 y1 the next one x1 2 y2 is with b12 next one is x2, y1, b21, and this is exactly what I have here, and last term is also the same. So that's why we can see how we can express the bilinear form over the vector space, like r to the n, as a v transpose its matrix, which whose entry is going to be the uh, evaluation of the linear form on the basis vectors. Again, like we need to fix a basis for that. And this is going to be that form. So that's why when people are talking about linear forms, they also talk about the corresponding matrix of the linear form. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching. So next time we're going to do, we're going to consider uh, some examples of the linear force, like symmetric, non-degenerate, degenerate, and etc. Okay, bye.